Hello everybody, what is going on? Derek on PC here, and today I bring you a tutorial about how to get, process, and sell oil on Takistan Life for Armor 208. That's, uh, it's basically, if I have to explain it briefly, it's just a modded server. You actually have to download nothing at all. And, um, it's just, it's life, there's cops, there's like the rebellious, there's the terrorists, and there's the civs, which I am. See, I got my beautiful, uh, jumpsuit on. I'm ready to work with that oil, but, um, it's basically... There's legal and illegal ways to get money as a sieve, and I kind of want to do a guide on legal ways to get money through resources. But um, let's start off with oil tutorial first. You press E to get the ATM, and then you deposit as much money as you need. If you're starting off first time, you're going to need a lot of money because there's a ton of licenses that you need. But I've already done this, so I'm only going to take out about 150000 like I said, if you're first time or more, this server starts with 500k. I'll put the uh, filter in the description that's used to the channel. Got to be careful crossing this road. People will run you over and steal your money. They don't really care. And then, oh, there's some crazy car glitches going on here. Everybody just kind of walked away. Basically, that's the guy you can buy cars from. But first, you're gonna need a driver's license, a truck license. A equipment license, I believe, yeah. or engineer license. Sorry, my bad. No. And that guy sells all of them. And then you're gonna need a car because uh, you're gonna need to get a Ural if you want to make big bucks. A Hilux also works well, which is just a pickup truck in this. It's got a pretty good uh, weight per cost proportionate, but I'm going big, so I'm gonna get a Ural. But you need to buy a bike to get to the truck store first. There's someone in the way first. Okay. Gotta get out of the way, dude, please. Buy myself a bike. Gotta wait five seconds. L is to lock and unlock, and then scroll wheel to get on for your first time. So, just you know, you can lock your bike and whatnot while you're on it. And then crash! Oh no! And crash again. Yeah, this this is just not this is just not going well right now. And uh, so basically, I'm gonna head to the truck store. Uh, it's actually not too far. Here we go. We got a map out. No, it's a bit further north than there. Yeah, there it is, right there. Truck shop. That's where you need to head to buy a Ural. That's the most effective way, as of now. Welcome back. I made it to the truck stop unharmed. Thank God. So this is where it is. Uh, basically, you go up to this guy and you click E. As I just show you the map once again. I don't know what that green guy was. His militia man could be insurgents. Just avoid insurgents in general. They're usually gypsies. Um, but basically, you press E on this guy, and a bunch of trucks come up. I know the Chernobyl Russian ones hold about 900 weight. I'm not sure about the civilian, the VS V3S or VS3 or whatever. I know that the uh, Takistan Ural holds 1,200, which I believe is the best truck. I know that off sprays and helicopters do hold more, so if you have that money, on this server it costs $700,000 for air license, and then I'm not even sure how much it costs for uh, actual helicopter. Probably going to cost somewhere close to that, if not even more, like we're talking millions here. But, Euro's pretty inexpensive way. This is just over $100,000. But now we got to head to the gas station just down the road to complete the rest, and there's a little kind of car wreck here. I'm not actually sure what this guy tried to accomplish. I mean, he hit me and then kind of went to the grass, and then he just kind of, after off camera, he drove right by me, didn't want any part of me. But we're going to head to the gas station right down the road, and I'll see you all when we get there. Okay, so I made it to the gas station literally just down the road. There's no one here, I'm just kind of scoping it out right now. Like I said, it's literally just down the road. You can walk there, but you shouldn't. Take the Ural. Um, basically, you're here because you need to go to the oil processing and mining tools. Which is ironically at the gas station, so I keep saying that. But, um, basically, this guy, he'll sell jackhammers, and he also sells oil processing license, which you need to process oil, as you know, that should be a given. So it's like, on this server, it's $40,000 for the processing license, and then another 45000 for the jackhammer. But if you don't have that kind of money for the jackhammer, you can buy a pickaxe. You're going to need multiple ones, they break pretty easily. But, um,. Basically, the jackhammer is much better. You also need the engineering license to buy the jack jackhammer. That's why we got that earlier. And then you just store everything in your Ural. While you're at the gas station, you can also get a large repair kit. So in case you break your Ural, you can always repair it. And then you head out to oil. There are, I think, two or three oil spots on the map. I think this one's the closest. 
Plus, I don't like going through Rasmin. There's too many bandits and stuff there. But I'll see you all when we're there. So I made it to oil. I found this other Ural hair. I could not find the owner of it. It was just hair. It was locked. Couldn't do anything with it. Uh, it's rather disappointing. Well, it wouldn't really matter anyway, having two Urals just for one driver. But okay, whatever. Um, basically, to do this, you need to stay inside the oil zone, the circle. You gotta press 2, click on your jackhammer, go use. And your guy will do some sort of weird animation. And I'll see at the bottom it says, You got two crude oil. And then. Once you're full weight, it'll tell you full weight, and you gotta put press T, open the truck of the Earl, the trunk, sorry, my bad, and then you click on the crude oil, type in the amount you need to go in there, press load in the truck, and it loads in the truck. I'm also gonna put my large repair kit and that in there too, buy some bank insurance just to lighten up, you get more uh, weight on your body so you can load more crude oil, but um, basically, a jackhammer, you get three attempts from anywhere from zero to four. Whereas a pickaxe, you get one attempt from zero to two, I believe. So a jackhammer is obviously much better. If you're just using a hillux, you might just want to use a pickaxe. I mean, these are all just suggestions. But if you're going big, you should definitely get invest in a jackhammer. They're so much more uh, time efficient and cost efficient because they rarely ever break. So um, I'm going to stay here, load up this truck, and then we'll move on to the next step after I'm done. I fill up the truck heading back to the oil processing place and by the way I don't know if you guys have noticed I actually don't have a weapon. Now this is a strategy that probably won't work for too many of you just because it won't but I don't use this because if someone shoots me technically I'm unarmed that's death matching and then I can find the money and I basically get their money. So that's really good because if you're armed and they kill you it's not considered death matching because you can I guess potentially defend yourself but if there's like a helicopter shooting at you I don't think like a revolver is going to take a helicopter down and there's basically nothing to stop it so you're gonna honestly if you're gonna die you might as well just try to get something for it um, as long as they don't blow up your vehicle it's not usually that big of a deal but moving on I actually got here to the gas station and I'm just gonna pull up nice and close it's starting to get night this server actually gets really dark it's probably pretty good to invest in night vision I don't think you'd lose it upon death either. You might as a sieve. I know you don't as a cop, but um, basically, then you go back into the trunk, you pull out ten crude oil. So just kind of, you got there's the funny animation. Go to this guy, scroll wheel, click process oil, and then at the bottom it says ten crude oil was processed into one refined oil. And you click T, go refined oil, put it back into the truck, and take out more crude oil. Now the funny thing about this is the 10 crude oil actually weighs more than the one process oil. So at the end of this you're at like maybe half or 700 weight for this truck. So if you wanted to you can actually go back and get more crude oil. I mean the vendor, I mean like unless you're taking this to a factory, the vendor is kind of on the way to the oil plant, the one we went to anyway. So it's not usually that big of a deal, you just go sell it on your way. But then again you do have a lot of money on you. I mean, these are all just suggestions. I'm just basically telling you how to do it and what I would do. I'd probably just go sell it and then probably quit because the amount of money you get is usually pretty ridiculous anyway. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but if it is, you can definitely do it because the weight is pretty sick how that works. But And next, we're on the way to sell it. And we're heading towards the oil plant. There's actually a cop behind me. He just talked to me, asked me how I was doing. Because I got shot by two random insurgents though before off camera, uh, yeah, um, the oil was glitched and I couldn't process all of it. I only got like 23 process and I still have like 150 uh, crude oil. So I'm gonna have to go with that just because the. I think the server needs to be restarted personally at this point, but I'm admin won't. And um, I don't actually know why this cop stopped, he just kind of did. I don't know if he's... Yeah, there he is. I don't know what he was doing. He must have been checking his map or something. Pressing one, maybe he's looking at wanted people. But, um... Moving on. We're going to head to the oil plant, in which we will sell our oil. Like I said, unless you're using it for a factory, which you have to own, I believe. Uh, you, this guy, I think, is the only place where you can sell it. He also has pretty good prices anyway. So, uh, I don't know why you wouldn't want to sell it here. But I'll uh, catch you all when we're there. Well, now we're at the uh, cellar. Basically, I just kind of cut out driving in here. 
Um, it's it's linked right on the map. Like you just click M and it's right there. Basically, you gotta have one in your inventory, a um, processed oil or refined rather. My bad. And um, then you can turn to this guy, and you can sell it to him. You just click on it and click sell, and then you get the money. It says it in the bottom left hand corner. And the money will also vary depending on what server and depending on the needs of oil at that time. Like certain times there'll be more oil needed, certain times there'll be less oil needed. Depends on kind of the price market. It's actually pretty cool how that works, but um, yeah, basically you just come in from where I was just looking back there, and then you sell all your oil to this guy. And like I didn't finish all my oil, but I end up getting eight hundred and forty-seven thousand on twenty-three barrels of processed oil. I sold one hundred fifty more with my Ural. So um. Thank you all for watching. This has been my Pakistan Life tutorial on oil. And like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all later. Take care.